What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Matty with the Bleacher Kings coming back at you with another NCAA college football revamped tutorial slash showcase, I guess you could call it. Do you want to enhance your experience in college football revamped? I mean, I think everybody does to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more cool, I guess you could say. But before we get started, make sure you smash the like button. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that sub button. If you are watching on Rumble, like and follow. What we're going to be doing this on, like I said, is the Dynasty tool. What the Dynasty tool is it brings in different aspects just to make the game a little bit more immersive in my opinion and just a little bit better it just adds a little bit to it uh, i did a tutorial before on the 12 team playoff that's involved with this it will show you draft declaration a bunch of different stuff and we'll go through that and i'll show you as best as i can what it has if you don't know about this already i definitely think it's a must have if you're playing college football revamp so let's get right into this guys it is a third party application that adds more to college football revamp, revamp, revamp in my opinion so without further ado go down in the description grab the link for the dynasty tool version 214 they do updates to this a lot um you don't have to worry about coming back to this github page because it will inform you right in the application itself that uh, there's an update available which is awesome so once you get over here guys go down and hit the dynasty tool zip file it will pop up a download right here we'll go ahead and open up that download and go ahead and minimize your browser you don't need it and inside here guys what i like to do is just take this folder drag it to your desktop as that extracts it as well so you don't have to go through the extraction process or, or you can extract it how you normally would extract the file but all right so now that we have that we're going to go ahead and open that file and in here there's a bunch of different stuff uh, instructions you can get custom bowl logo conference instructions custom logo instructions i've never really gone through that myself but we can go through those as well it also gives you a readme file you're going to hit that exe file on the bottom it's okay press more info run anyway and then it's going to ask you where you want to install it and install this only for me and then obviously this is the destination file wherever you want to put it if you want to put somewhere else i just usually leave it right on my c drive all right now that it's finished we're going to leave run ncwa dynasty tool check so it opens right up we'll press finish and in here this opens just up like this it's going to look like this i'm going to delete these because i've already had it this is exactly if you've never used the dynasty tool this is exactly what it's going to to look like um, it's going to select your dynasty folder all right so what you want to do when you come in here guys is go to create new and your dynasty name whatever team you're using it doesn't really matter i'm just going to do test because i'm going to do a test dynasty so i can show you guys everything in the dynasty folder you can pick your your color to to match your team whatever you want to do there create the dynasty folder now that we're in the dynasty here guys the 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 thing we want to do first or what you can do is you can go into year changer you can change the year whatever you want to do so in season you can get your top 25 polls you can get your college football playoff this is four eight and twelve team playoff um i will link in the description the tutorial for that so I, it will run you through how to actually do those it's a step-for-step -step process it's a little bit tedious on how to run it but it works nonetheless and i've had questions before can i do that in in road to glory can i do that in ncaa 14 the game the answer is no not to my knowledge this is specifically for dynasty mode off season you'll be able to see in the players leaving stage you'll see the draft declaration the training results stage you'll be able to do player progression history stage you can see your nfl draft history from players that got selected into the draft your player progression your playoff history it'll show you all of that all right so before i get started into this i am going to what i'm going to do before we get into anything i'm going to fire up college football revamp myself i'm going to do a test dynasty just so i can show you guys the different aspects of the dynasty tool as we go along uh, so i'm just going to use a random one so i can do literally every stage we can do the we can do the the top 25 polls we can do the player progression the nfl draft declaration all of that type of stuff we can do that as we go so i can give you guys a little bit of insight on on what it is and show you what it's about if you don't already know what it is all right guys now that i'm in my just random dynasty i chose the uh north carolina tar heels first thing i want to do in my dynasty obviously is go to save this um so i have the file and you'll see why uh don't let it auto save it's a little bit harder to find so always save it to a name and now that that's saved i'm gonna uh, tab back out to the dynasty tool with the dynasty tool now open i'm gonna first off i'm gonna change the year that's the first thing i'm gonna do so if we look back into if we look back into college football revamped you'll see that where is it right here preseason 2013 obviously we're in 2023 we're going to open up the dynasty tool here and i'm going to change that to 2023 we're going to open our dynasty file now i don't know where it will open for you guys first right 
So I'm just going to do it as from the beginning. All right. So my PS3 emulator folder where all the files are, the game is, is on my desktop. I have that folder. If you followed my tutorials before, you should have something like that on your desktop as well. But you just want to go to the folder that you have all your stuff in, which mine is that PS3 emulator on my desktop. Sorry. Inside dev eight inside dev HD 00. We're going to go to home. 0001 save data and you're going to look for your dynasty name i know i got a lot a lot here but mine for this one is test the end uh the north carolina tar Heel. so i'm going to open that one and then we're going to click user data and now that this file is now successfully updated and changed to 2023 so to see that take effect you're just going to exit out of your dynasty and go back into your dynasty and then you'll see that it is now 2023 so that will change the year so you're not way back dated 10 years ago all right now that that is done we can go to the dynasty hub again in the team swapper i haven't done any of that but you can swap teams in and out we'll try it all right so we'll open our dynasty file it should if you're still in here it should open right back up to where you do we'll open up the team swapper i mean and we're going to swap out a team for one of the teams they have to swap in so we're going to swap out akron and we're going to swap in you can do in the blue we'll tell you the teams you can swap you can do central arkansas chattanooga drake eastern washington grambling state illinois state missouri montana nichols state north dakota north dakota state northern iowa south dakota south dakota state southern illinois the citadel youngstown state we're going to put in uh south dakota state that's going to team that's going to take over for akron so we're going to save that dynasty file okay and again i think what we're going to do here we're going to exit out of dynasty we'll go back into dynasty mode so now if we go to um so first off, we'll start advanced to the season. So now that we are in the actual season, we're going to go to conference outlook here. All right. And we're going to look, I don't know what, what I don't know what Akron is in right there. Mac conference, the South Dakota state Jackrabbits right there. They took over Akron. So there they are. They're now in there and they take over Akron and they're now uh, playing in the Mac conference. That right there is how you do a team swapper. All right, we'll go back to the Dynasty Hub. All right, in the season, at any stage, you can do the top 25 poll. So it should, again, open right up. We'll go user data. And the beauty about this, opposed to the one in the game, is you see where everybody is ranked, all the way down to 126 teams. All right, you can see where they rank out in the start of it. I just think it looks a lot better uh, than it does in the actual game. So you can see all the top 25 teams all the way down until 126, all the teams, all the teams you see. So all the teams that aren't even in the top 25, you can see where they fall in the league. So let's see if we can find a South Dakota State on there now. Right there, 123 South Dakota State Jackrabbits, right there. All right, just like that. Um, just like that so that is that right there is the top 25 poll and as you can see here the college football playoff you have to be in the bowl season so you get through your conference championship game and then you do the playoff i have a video like i said that will be linked in the description to explain the playoff it works for the four the eight and the 12 the same way it's just more steps obviously if you do a an eight and then even more steps if you do a 12 but i did the tutorial on the 12 team playoff so feel free to check that out all right, the off-season stuff here, um, we're going to get to that. I'm going to show you guys that. So what, what I'm going to have to do is skip ahead here. I'm going to advance week uh, all the way to the conference championship week. There we go. We got through the season. We simulated the entire season, and check that out. I guess we are now number one. All right. Now, you can, you don't, like 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 I said, with the Dynasty tool for the um, the season um, on the college football playoff, you don't want to do it in this one. Some people get that confused that I've seen is that you don't want to do it here because you have the potential to drop a rank by losing this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance to the bowl season. We're playing FSU for the conference championship here in the ACC, and we just lost, right? So we just lost 33 to 27. So that's obviously going to change our overall overall ranking in the top 25 so let's wait till it hits this and then we can pull back up the top 25 i went against my thing and i said oh, i wasn't going to show you the the college football playoff but we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and do just the four team and we actually drank to drop to number five just like that so we're actually going to be out of the four team playoff here all right so what i like to do obviously um i don't know if it's a must need to do it but i'll go in and I'll, I'll i'll manually save it for myself and then i will open up my dynasty tool and we'll go to the college football playoff here we're going to do the uh 14 playoff 
Step one, set the bracket. All four playoff bids are awarded at, as at-large bids to the top four teams in the CFP poll. Matchups are set one, four, two, three. All right, so we're going to set that. We're going to open our dynasty file, and we're going to do the one that uh, we're on currently. And boom, just like that, you got Florida State playing USC, Oklahoma playing Michigan. I think we just got robbed. North Carolina just got robbed by Florida State, in my opinion, just like that. So in here, you can... Take a screenshot. You can see your conference champions for the entire thing. Your conference champions. Look at the Ball State Cardinals having a 12 and 1 record. That's that's incredible. The CFP rankings you can see right here. And just like that, we literally got robbed one game. We should have been in here over USC, but that that is okay. Maybe you can't have two ACC teams. I don't know. Anyways, once you have it like this, you press that to set the set the uh, oh Jesus to set it. All right, now it's set, and then you got to press that check again. And you got to save right here. I will say before that step, you can change out these bowl games. I just saved it. So it locked literally everything in. But now you have your playoff games saved. Now, when you're doing the college playoff, and this works the same way for the eight and the 12, you back out of your dynasty. Okay. You go back into your dynasty. Now you need to go to scores and schedules. All right. You're going to be looking for the first round games. And you can see them by looking up here. It will show you exactly what you're looking for right up there. It won't say a bowl game. I think it might have the college football playoff uh, play-in game or something like that. Oh, no, it will have that. It will have that, so I apologize. So if you open it back up, I do apologize for that. So you're looking for the All-State Sugar Bowl and the Rose Bowl game. The All-State Sugar Bowl and the Rose Bowl game. So right here, uh, there's the All-State Sugar Bowl, Michigan first Oklahoma. So you would simulate this game. Unless it's one of your teams, you'd play it. So now that that one's simulated, we're looking for the Rose Bowl again. That's the other game in the playoffs here. There's the Rose Bowl. So it's Florida State versus USC. We'll go ahead and simulate that one as well. We'll simulate that one as well. So we're going to look to see who won those real quick. Uh, so you got Michigan's going to the championship over Oklahoma. And then obviously USC over Florida State. So we'd back out to the main screen. Well, not the main screen, but we'd back out to here. I you save the dynasty again. Tedious, I know. Open this up. And then you go back to the dynasty hub. You go to college football playoff four team. And now you're going to do step two, set the national championship. Open up the dynasty file, user data. Boom. There you go. And now you got, it even shows you the scores of the game there. So now you got USC like they won, Michigan like they won. Again, save it. Boom. And uh, once again, what you got to do, and this is the tedious stuff I was talking about is exiting and going back in, exiting, going back in, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe you don't have to do that, but that's just what I do personally. Um, and then you go over to scores and schedules again, and the national championship will be all the way directly at the bottom right there. USC at Michigan, simulate the game. Unless obviously you're in it, you can play it or whatever, or you can honestly sit there and you can watch it. So Michigan wins 47 to 31 over USC. Now I'm going to test something. I'm not going to go try to save right now. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to dynasty hub, college football playoff four team, finalize the playoffs, open dynasty file, user data. And just like that, I didn't have to save. So there you go. I, I debunked my own method. Michigan state wins the championship. Just like that, you can take a screenshot, put that on social media, use it as a thumbnail, whatever you want to do, press save, and there you go. And if you close that, and now you definitely have to exit out one last time, open the dynasty again. If you go back down there, obviously, boom, you have that. Fuck yeah, okay. you're an so awesome now that that's player. done, that's how you do the playoffs. Fun, it works bro. the same for 8 and 12. It's just obviously it's uh, it's more, more steps. So you advance to the end of the bowl season. While it's advancing to the end of the bowl season, I will open this up to see if there's anything there. All right, so these can be done at any stage. Obviously, you see the playoff history is the 2023 National Champions of Michigan. Player progression history, we have no history found just yet. NFL draft history, we have none yet. We're going to get to that. We're going to go to the offseason stage to see if anybody declared for the draft in our season. And you'll be able to see that for all the teams as well. And obviously it wants us to add a, a, a shit. I don't really care about adding all that shit right now, obviously, because uh, this is what it is. So we're going to advance to the end of season stage. And this is where we'll be able to see, you know, draft declaration, all that stuff. Uh, view contract. They guess they want to offer us a new contract. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll sign. Mac Brown will resign. Advance to the next stage. Players leaving. This is where we want to be is the players leaving stage right here. All right, now that we're in the players leaving stage, okay, we can now go back into our dynasty tool. 
We'll go to the players leaving stage. Open dynasty file. Obviously the one we're in. The module has auto saved. View the results. As you can see right here, this literally will tell you every player that's going in. Obviously the seniors. Uh, it will even tell you who's graduating. All these players graduating. Uh, these players, Zach Rice, Joe Starlings, they transferred because they're homesick. 36 total players leaving, two transferring, five entering the draft. Two are entering early. All right, so Drake May right here, it says pro draft, projected second round. Uh, middle linebacker is a junior. He's declaring projected second. Cedric Gray, he's a senior. He's projected to go second round. Wide receiver Tez Walker, junior, projected to go third round. Uh, uh, punter is uh, graduating. Uh, left end, uh, came on Rucker. He's projected to go fourth round. All these guys are graduating. And then, obviously, we have the two transfers. So that right there is your... Uh, declaration stage okay so even, even if you go here to history you can see your nfl draft history it will always tell you your draft history right in there so if you ever want to use that for whatever you see you get the drop down menu where you can see the the years as as you go on uh where the where these players go in the draft and again like i said playoff history just shows you your national champions uh, but off season to still go is the player progression so we're going to advance to the next stage, which will be transfer request, recruiting, signing day, training results. That's where we want to simulate to is the training results stage because that is where we will be able to see the player progression for uh, this season. All right, now that we're in the training results stage, we're going to go to player progression. It's going to make you open up your dynasty file. And we've been here the whole time, so it's right there. And we're going to see how these players progressed uh, that are still on our team. All right, the module is auto save your results. And as you can see, all of this stuff. Now, some of these players will be obviously off the team because like Tez Walker, he was drafted. I don't know why he's still on there. Tad Hudson, it shows you everything. If they've regressed, stayed the same. If they've progressed anywhere, like look at that wide receiver, pretty much progressed in every aspect of his game. Pretty damn close to it. Um, a lot of the, the most important stuff. But that is that. That is how you see your player progression. But before you guys get out of here, man, make sure you slap that like button, man. We're pushing towards the 500 subscribers. I think we're at 315. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Make sure you hit that like button. Share the video out to your friends and family, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.